Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we will share a direct comparison between the tech specs of the Boss GT1000 versus the ones of the GX100. Let's start! We will check out the differences between the two units among the following parameters number of amps and cabs, third-party IRs availability, number of patches and presets, number of effects and effect chain management in general, MIDI availability, audio inputs and outputs, foot switches and expression pedals, screen sides and type, looper capabilities, ADA conversion, special features available with the two units, current power dimensions, weight and price. First of all, we have 23 amps and caps in both the unit. Furthermore, both the units are using the BOSS AIRD technology, so having the same number of amps and using the same modeling technology, I think that they are gonna sound the same. Both the units offer the possibility to load third-party IRs and we have 16 user slots in the GT1000 where I was not able to find the user slots available in the GX100, even if I think uh, that they are the same of the ones offered by the GT1000. Furthermore, the GT1000 has two sets of 50 banks each of five patches with a total amount of 500 patches, 250 for the user and 250 built-in, while the GX100 offers 300 presets, with the 200 available for the user and 100 with boss presets. As regards effects, the GX100 seems to have some more effects, even if it sounds strange to me and maybe what is reported in the BOSS website is wrong. Furthermore, the GT1000 offers 24 effect blocks with 3 parallel paths, where the GX100 offers 15 blocks with 2 parallel paths. Therefore, the GT1000 is much more powerful in terms of effect chain management, but the 15 blocks of the GX100 are a lot, and typically these are more blocks compared to the ones offered by the other amp modeling pedal boards. Both have the same MIDI ports and capabilities. As regards inputs and outputs, the main difference is that the GT1000 offers a stereo effect loop, where the GX100 offers a mono effect loop. And furthermore, the GX100 is missing the balanced output that are available in the GT1000. And as you know, Balanced outputs are typically useful in live situations when you need to run long cables without noise. The GT1000 has 10 foot switches versus the 8 of the GX100, furthermore the GT1000 has one more input for external control pedals. The screen of the GX100 is colorful and touch sensitive, where the one of the GT1000 has only two colors and uh, it is not touch sensitive. Therefore, the GX100 should be much more user friendly compared to the GT1000. Both the units offer a 19 second stereo looper, which is pretty poor in comparison with other rivals of these two units, in my opinion. As regards ADA conversion and uh, USB capabilities, the GT1000 is better. In fact, it offers 32 bits converters at 96 kHz, where the GX offers 24 bits at 48 kHz with 32 bits internal processing. Furthermore, the GT1000 offers a 6 in, 6 out USB audio interface, where I was not able to find the number of audio channels available in the GX100. If you know, please drop a message in the comment section below. As regards special features, I would mention the built in Bluetooth capabilities of the GT1000 with which you can edit the effect chain with your tablet and this is pretty handy and nice. Also the GX offers Bluetooth, but you have to buy an external adapter. The power needs are the same at 1200 mA, 
As regards the dimensions and weight, the GT1000 is a little bit bigger and heavier. And finally the price, where the price of the GT1000 is currently significantly higher than the one of the GX100. So summarizing, the unit should sound the same, having the same amps and the same modeling approach. The converters of the GT1000 are superior, but I think that the sound difference is gonna be negligible. Then I would mention that with the GT1000 you can build much more complex effect chains with more blocks and more parallel paths compared to the GX100, even if also the 15 blocks of the GX100 are pretty compelling considering that typically other units in this price range offer 10 to 12 effect blocks. Then obviously the GX100 has uh, on its side the touch sensitive screen which promises much more user friendly operations compared to the one of the GT1000. And finally the price, I mean the price of the GX100 is much lower compared to the one of the GT1000, almost half the price. So all in all the GX100 is a very nice addition especially if you love boss effects as here you have a lot of boss effects. Furthermore you save a pretty high amount of money if you don't need all the effect chain flexibility available in the GT1000. The only cons I would mention is that the sound engine and the amp modeling technology seems to be the same of the one available in the GT1000 which is a four years old unit as if I remember it well the GT1000 was released in 2018. And you know, the fact that in four years we basically have no amp modeling improvements, uh, well, is, uh, well, it sounds a little odd to me. But please let me know your opinions in the comment section below and let me know if I forgot something or if you have some corrections so that our community can help other guitarists to make the right decisions according to their needs. We have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell and leave a thumb up, it would be of a great help. If you're interested in my IRs, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine and two of my new Leo Gibson band new songs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video, bye bye.